Hey, off the top, I'm bossed up. You ain't top of money, don't talk to us. I'm steady stacking that guac up. All hard to you when I'm locked up. You type of nigga jet pop up. When nigga rolling that cush, huh? Got mine growing like grapevines in the backyard. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Wise Man White again at the Tech Temple, and uh, I know it's not just me, but I feel like Android has a little like Cash 22, and it's kind of a hard way to figure it out. And uh, you know what it's all about? It all the problem lies right here. Counts and sync. Now, you really, you really only have two options, or three options, I guess. You can either, no, two. Turn your on just on sync on and off so that way you're responsible for getting your mail on and off and turns out your body your battery will be better, but you still gotta worry about checking on yourself. Or option number two, leave it on and your battery drains because it's always pulling and pulling email and pulling all your updates. And I I mean that's one thing that I really did not like that I can't there there's no built in feature where I can make it a timer. But Luckily, I came across an app that lets you do that, and it'll let you schedule when and how often you want your sync to turn on, and it'll automatically turn right back off. And this app is called Task Bomber. Let me show you the... It's right here. I call it Task Bomb. Right there. It's got the little 12 o'clock symbol. And along with Task Bomb, as you can see, I got the free version. And Task Bomb, it lets you not just do what I just told you, but... It schedules you anything. Like let's say you want to run an app, you want your um, the, the weather display every hour. You can make the weather app come up. You can make this app, that app come up whenever you want to, or a certain program or task to come up whenever you want to. So I know I told you to get Task Bomb, but with Task Bomb, you need to go to also to the market and get this app called uh, Wi-Fi Sync Scheduler. I believe it's by the same uh, app developer. All right, so let me show you how to set this up. So you got the two apps. So let me go ahead and open up uh, Task Bomb. That's kind of like complicated. Uh, the developer does give you a uh, sample. So if you want, you can either do Wi-Fi Sync, which uh, turns your Wi-Fi and your sync on for 30 minutes. Or you can, or he has this volume increaser, which I believe it says gradually increases the media volume from zero to five, fifteen over five minutes. Um, I tried to do this one, and then I tried to modify it to what I need because I don't need it every thirty seconds. I just need the sync to shut on and shut off once every hour. But I couldn't get that to work. So what I'm going to show you is the way I did it, the way that makes sense to me. And what I'm going to show you how to do is to set your uh, Wi-Fi. I mean, not your Wi-Fi. How to turn turn your auto sync on. It'll it'll cut on every two hours for ten minutes. And when ten minutes is over, it'll automatically cut off. And then ten and two hours later, it'll automatically cut on, and that pattern will continue for twenty four hours every day. So this is how we're gonna do it. So first, go to task. Hit the plus button. What you wanna do is gonna ask you uh, your name. So I wanna hit sync off or sync on. We'll just call it sync on. Sync on and action type. So I wanted to open this program and data. So you called set Wi. We did download it. Set Wi-Fi sync. You should have downloaded it. And we want Wi-Fi uh, sync. Don't worry if that says on or off. It's just letting you know what it is currently. So we're, since we called this sync on, what we want to what do we want this to do? We want this activity to turn on. And our stop action it will be none. And default task duration, none. Don't touch those. So now we have to make another one called sync off. Let me turn off my sound. Sorry about that. Okay, so again, open and data. We want the set Wi-Fi sync, and you want data. We're gonna do sync and activity since this is called sync off up there. We're gonna call this turn. Off. We're gonna have this turn off. And don't advanced options. Leave that alone. So now you got your tasks. So what's next after task is a schedule to run those tasks. 
So schedules, hit the plus button. Schedule one, I'm gonna turn this sync on. Call this sync on. Make sure my sync is on right now. My sync is uh I can't talk from here. I'm just gonna call this sync on. So schedule items. So we're what we're gonna do is schedule a task that we made. So hit this plus button up here. Sync on. Start time, I want it to start when it's supposed to start, whenever I tell it to. I want it to stop uh, whenever, I want it, whenever I tell it to. So every two hours I want this to repeat. Okay, so you got sync on, one enabled, and don't touch anything else. So now we need to sync off. So schedule, call sync off. And we need to schedule the sync off. So add this, this we're going to add this sync off. And start time. I want this to start 10 minutes after the start. And repeat interval every two hours. So this, so now we got sync off and a sync on schedule. So now we gotta have the alarm. The alarm, make sure the schedule actually runs. So press the alarm and hit sync on. Make sure you hit the actual schedule, which is the dynamite looking icon. Don't hit the task. And sync on start time. So I want this to run at six o'clock. PM set. Duration, I want this to run for 24 hours. So you might not want yours to run all day, but I want mine to run it all day. Uh forgot. Uh days. Sunday, Monday, you want it through weekday, you want on certain days, pick which days you want. I want mine to run every day. Cause I check my email every day. So now we have sync on. Now we need to have turn the sync off. So the action's already sync off. Starts at 587. I'm gonna I start the other one at 6. So I want it to last for 10 minutes. So I want to set this for 610. I'll just type it in there. And I want this to run every day. And I want this. 24 hours. Alright, so sync off, start time, days, and duration. Got that all taken care of. So now from sync on, from 6 o'clock p.m. for 24 hours, the sync is going to turn on for 10 minutes. Because we set that back before. And then at 6.10, from 6.10 to 6.10, this thing is going to run every two hours and shut off the sync that we turned on. And if you want to see uh, this running action, this is going to show what's actually happening. So after our sync starts, this uh, you'll see something in this column. And quick run is if you don't want to wait, let's say you had set it to like 4 p.m. and you don't want to wait, you just want to test it, hit quick run and it'll test it for you. So as we can see, so let's go ahead and wait. Right there it says 5.59. Let's wait a couple seconds and it should turn to 6 o'clock. And when 6 o'clock hits, my sync on should turn on. And I will go into the options after that to prove it to you that it did shut on. Um, I would go into it now. I don't think I have enough time. Let's see. Set some settings. Accounts and sync. So right now it's off. So I'll show you that it's off. You don't have to be in the app for this to run. Uh, I'll put it on the home screen. I'm glad I went. That way I'll show you that you don't have to be on it. So 6 o'clock hit. Bam. Sync on. 6 o'clock. So 6 o'clock hit. My sync turned on. If you don't believe me, I'm going to go to the settings. 
and this thing turned on. So my stuff is sinking now. At 610, this thing will shut off. And I don't and then two hours later, do the same thing again. So that way I'm not wasting my time turning on and turning off this and reminding myself to make sure I turn it on. And I'm not wasting my battery by having it on all the time. So that's what's nice. Automation, baby, you gotta love it. So there you go. Um ten minutes later it should work. And if you've got any problems, dang it's cold, it's only one degree outside. If you got any problems or questions on how to set this up, or let me know. Hit me up in the comments or questions. Hopefully, I'll, an I'll answer you or somebody else will answer you if they figure something out that I didn't. But I should be able to answer you. And uh, if I made any mistakes, I'll come back and make it a minute to the video, but I'm pretty sure I did it right. So, this is Wise Man White again. Thanks for checking me out. Uh, follow me on Google. Plus. I use it heavily. Um, so, go ahead and follow me on Google. Plus. So, you can my own widget right there. Uh, Twitter at thetechtemple.com or email me if you have questions. This is Wise Man White again. Peace. The Tech Temple.